Welcome to Moby Locate. Today we are going to look at the reporting portion of Moby Locate, our GPS fleet tracking solution. The reporting portion of the application allows you to both schedule reports to be sent to your email and view reports based on the visit and safety performance of your division, region, branch, and or drivers. Let's log into Moby Locate now by clicking on the Locate icon in the lower right hand portion of the screen. Upon logging into the application, you will be presented with three tabs in the upper right hand corner. For today's training, let's select on the tab on the far right labeled Reports. Frequent reporting with the right metrics will help the branch manager run operations smoothly and effectively. The Moby Locate solution provides actionable information to support this process. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, you will see a date range that can be selected to filter the period of information you would like to display. You will also notice an Adobe Acrobat icon and a Microsoft Excel icon. These icons will allow you to download this report and view the information as a PDF file or an XLS file to share with your superior, coworkers, or employees. To the right of the Microsoft Excel icon, you will see a mail icon. This allows you to schedule a report to be sent to yourself or another coworker. Let's select this schedule report icon now. We are now taken to the screen labeled Schedule a Report. In this screen, you can name the report, choose the export format, and type the email address you would like the report sent to. You will also notice that the report type and level name is automatically populated based on what level of the report you selected the Schedule Report icon from. Next, choose the date range, enable or disable the report, and select how frequently you would like this report to run. Finally, you can choose the time to run the report and the first run date. Upon clicking Save, the report will be stored and can be accessed for editing at a later time. The Schedule a Report functionality can be used from any screen within the reporting portion of the application. Let's now look at the Visit Report Summary screen. Upon choosing the Visit Reports icon in the upper left-hand corner, the application will display details for the levels currently selected. The visit report defaults to displaying information for the past 30 days. The visit report also presents the user with the total number of trips, average travel duration, average visit duration, and the average distance between visits. This information is displayed for their branch as well as the region, division, or corporate levels. If we would like to further examine details from these metrics, we can select the division, branch, or region link by clicking on the name on the left hand side of the screen. Let's click on the Texas region for example. Upon clicking on the Texas region you'll notice there are three branch locations Austin, Dallas, and Austin Route. Let's select the Austin branch. You'll notice that beneath the high level summary we also have a driver summary. The driver summary includes all the columns from the branch summary and adds the total active duration and max speed metrics. If we select the driver, we can find out more about the driver's metrics during the dates listed. Let's select Buddy Woods. Now we see the date of each trip, the point of interest name, the start time, arrival time, travel distance, travel duration, visit duration, total duration, starting address, and destination address. You will also notice an additional filter option is available in the top center portion of the screen. This allows you to filter the amount of information that is displayed. Let's click on that filter button now. This allows you to filter the amount of information that is displayed by setting the maximum and minimum visit durations, travel durations, or distance traveled. This information can be very helpful when you sit down with a driver for a one-on-one -on -one meeting to manage a driver's activities. Next, let's review the safety and compliance reports. To view the safety and compliance report, we should direct our attention to the left hand portion of the screen and click on the safety cone icon. The safety and compliance report functions similar to the visit report. It allows you to view the division, region, and branch information. If you are to select a division, region, or branch, the application will allow you to view the metrics for each associated area. The safety and compliance report shows us the total idle time, number of low battery exceptions, number of times a driver exceeded the mileage for the day, times the driver used the vehicle outside of business hours, as well as any speeding instances, 
times the device was unplugged from the vehicle, and any geofence exceptions. If we are to click on any of these exceptions, the appropriate information will be displayed. Let's select the speeding instance for the Austin branch in the Texas region. Upon selecting the speeding instance metric, we will be presented with the date, time, driver, mobile device, speed, current speed limit, address, and exception type. This information can be filtered by both driver and date range at the top of the screen. And as with any report, you can export the information to Adobe Acrobat, Microsoft Excel, or schedule this report to be emailed to you at the frequency you desire. As you can see, the Mobi Locate application reports on critical data points that help you manage your business operations. No matter what industry you're in, Mobi Locate's features are designed to help you meet and surpass your most challenging requirements. Since you've invested heavily in vehicle assets, field training, and staff resources, it only makes sense that you would want to ensure that investment. For any additional questions on the report functionality of Mobi Locate, please contact our support team at support at mobicorp.com. Thank you for taking time to review our reports training session today.